Hello everyone, this is Angie at Stampin' with Amore and today I am sharing this star box with you and I've been just dying to layer up these stars so I thought this would be the perfect little box for it and this will hold Ghirardelli's, it's 2x2x2 two by two by two. so I already have 3 in here but it will definitely fit at least 2 more it may fit 3 more, I am not sure but it's a really good box for Ghirardelli's or any kind of candy but it's really really um, a really pretty easy box to make and I really just love the foil layered on top of each other and there's a bunch of layers I don't even know if you can see all the layers on that and I already went ahead and cut out um, with the stitched stars so these are the stitch stars that I use. This is, this is all one set of dies. And it is so pretty. They're, all the stars are stitched. And this piece right here, I got a bunch of little stars out of this. Um, and we're going to layer those on the side. But that's the reason I cut this one out. Because there was like five little stars on here. Plus there's these itty bitty ones you can cut off of it. But... Um, the, this is all I used for this project right here, the dies that I used. And then we're going to use the um, Knight of Navy because I thought it was so elegant with the silver foil. And you can put a sentiment on here if you like, but I just really, really love the stars. So that's what I used for this. So let's go ahead and get started with this because there is a bunch of embossing. So the piece you're need, gonna need is eight and a half by seven. And then, like I said, I already cut the pieces. These are the little ones that I'm gonna layer on the sides. And then the, this is, these are the ones that we will layer on the top. All right, so let's score this. It's really rather simple scoring. You just need to pay attention to the cutting on this. So it's one half. Two and a half, four and a half, and six and a half. And then you're going to turn it and you're going to score it again at one half, two and a half, four and a half, and six and a half. That's it. So there are a lot of little squares, but like I said, just. Um, watch how I cut it and it'll go together really easy you just need adhesive for one part of this box alright so these two sides are the ones that have the half inch marks so we're gonna leave it like that we're gonna cut out these two narrow ones right here on both sides and that is going to be a glue tab right there. And then to make this easier, we're going to just cut up each one of these to the second score mark. I know you may not be able to see it perfectly, but um, I, think, I think you can see it pretty good. And then we're going to do the exact same thing on the other side. And then what we're going to do here is, on this part right here, we're going to cut off these squares. And then this one here. And then you're going to be left with the, these three right here. And what we're going to do now is we are going to cut about a half, three quarter inches on each side of these. Leave the middle one. These are going to be little flaps. And then we'll cut in these. And these don't have to be perfect because they'll be in the inside of your box. Alright, and then I'm going to just cut these in so they go into the box easier all right so now we are going to go ahead and we are going to emboss we're going to emboss on this side and I'm going to use my embossing buddy 
and then we are going to use the Versamark and the stamp set this is a bundle so the stamp set are the so many stars and I'm using this these stars here it's grouped together and then um, that's what we're going to emboss with all right so let me grab the stars right here and we're going to just start stamping them on here we're going to use white emboss with this and you're going to just stamp it all the way across make sure you're keeping them in line though I'm going to turn this one the other way and then we're ready to emboss so I'll grab the white emboss it looks so pretty up against this knight of navy and I wanted something a little bit less traditional to do because I've been doing a lot that are really traditional with the green and red so we needed to do something different oops I need to get that embossing powder on here back into the jar back into the container or we'll blow it everywhere okay so then let's go ahead and emboss this okay so look how pretty they look all embossed down there and I was thinking as I was embossing that that I believe these are the colors for Hanukkah so I think it would work even for Hanukkah so let's go ahead and put this together we'll sharpen all these score marks okay so now we'll, we'll put the adhesive on Just line this up. And then these will just fold inside, just like this. So that's the only adhesive you're going to put on there. All right, so the next thing I did was I took these little stars and I used wet glue. And I'm just going to add a few, just, I don't know, to add a little bit of a glitz on here, or a little glimmer. You can just add them around different spots. Just where you think you would like them. You don't even have to do this part, but I just wanted to add a little bit of shine. And my take your pick tool works so much better with this. And I think I think we got them all covered. Yeah. So we don't even need that last one. And then we are going to take our stars here and we are going to layer these, but I'm layering these with the mini dimensionals. I can use a big dimensional on that first one, but after that we need to use the minis. So I'm staggering these. I'm not layering on, on top of each other. Or well, I am on top of each other, but I'm kind of staggering them. They're not exactly um, lined up. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> It doesn't sound right to me, but <laughs> all right. And then just this one more. And then I'm just going to use a little bit of wet glue to put it on the top. 
just like that it's so pretty this star is so pretty I hope you can you can see how nice it is so that's it everyone here's the other one that I have with the Ghirardelli's inside but you can use it for any kind of candy or any goodies or even a small gift and so if you haven't subscribed please subscribe hit the bell for notifications each time I upload a new video I hope you enjoyed it everyone have a blessed day and I'll catch you in the next one see you later bye